story time! Ta -da 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 -da! Oh guys, so ito yung experience ko nung Holy Week ko. From Friday to uh, this Sunday. Okay. I was looking forward to a jigging trip. Sa mga di nakakaalam, jigging is uh, it's another term for like deep sea fishing. Where you like jig. Like this uh, things that are, that weighs like 200 to 250 grams. Sa mga parang bakal na hinuhulog mo sa dagat. This was like my first time na mag night jigging sa isang bangka. Last time was like in a yacht. Pero natulog lang ako buong time sa yat kasi it's like when you're out in the ocean, you just wanna fucking sleep, man. Like, dinuduyan ka nung tubig. Anyways, mm -hmm. I drove for like three freaking hours. Pretty much the same town na pinuntahan natin nung nag-camping tayo. So it's, yes, it was yes. just like somewhere in the... Sa kabilang na yun. Yeah, puta nga yung konyo na. Yeah, man, you konyo na, man. Sa bahay ka lang. sa may kabilang na yun. So, <laughs> I arrived there at around 2 p.m. Sabi daw nung mentor ko, Dapat by 3. Ah, alis na kami. Lalayag na kami. Papuntang ano. Papuntang Laot. It was a pretty nice beach town. Walang katao-tao. Because for some reason, people were celebrating the penitentia. And what was really interesting though was like, every now and then, may madadaanan kang parang Elden Ring mob that's whipping themselves at the back. Oh, <laughs> the back. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Why do people still do this? It's 2022, man! Pero grabe, may mga devote ano talaga. Mga devote followers talaga who do that. Anyways, yun lang naman nakikita ko dun. Uh, mga nadadaanan ko mga Elden Ring mobs. So, fast forward dun sa Zambales na. I arrived there very, very hungry. It was a bright, sunny day. I realized wala palang mga bukas na mga establishment to. Kahit mga sari-sari store wala. Kasi nga, Monday Thursday. Buti na lang, may isa doon na parang mini stall that was selling their like fried chicken na parang homemade. So I, mm. I ate that one together with a bunch of kids who guided me. Kasi I didn't know the, the place. And then yung mentor ko, may tinuro na bata, Oy, may alam ka ba kainan dito? And then the kid was like, Tara, tara, punta tayo doon. May alam ako mga ano kainan. And then pinunta namin yung mga tatlong kainan. Putang inang yan, walang, hindi, hindi, sarado. And then yung isang bata, naging tatlo. Because like, oh, the, the NPC be like, gathering more NPCs, yeah? So pagdating namin dun sa may mini stall ng fried chicken, apat na yung linibre kong bata. So sabi ko, you know what? We'll take all your fucking chicken. I'll take all of that para makasarado na kayo. Pumating na yung 3pm, puta, wala pa yung bangka namin. And then yung 3pm na yun, naging alas 6. Kasi, I don't know, na-delay yung bangka namin on todo-todo. So during the, between 3 to 6pm, I was just laying on the sand. Because for some reason, the sand felt super nice, very cold. The, the sea breeze felt nice. Then on 6pm, doon na kami lumaot. So for an hour, dinaanan namin may ibang islands, and then we started jigging, eh? And then for like three hours, wala akong nahuli, putang ina. Ang nakuha ko lang, sakit sa katawan. Kasi jigging takes a lot of fucking strength. And just to let you guys know, parang ka nagjijim. Alam mo yung parang machine na may pinupul kang weights papunta sa'yo? Uh -huh. Ganun. So imagine that, but you're constantly doing it for like hours and hours. That's how you attract the fish. Nung three hours na yun, I almost gave up. And then suddenly, puta na may humatak. Like, sobrang bigat. I was like, oh shit, fish on, fish on! And I was panicking, man. Tapos puta sabi ko, kasi yung GoPro ko? Kasi di ko suot. So, like, puta, hinanap ko yung GoPro ko. Yung nakita ko na yung GoPro ko, i-on ko na, biglang puta na gumaan. And I was like, no. No! No! You're not ready, man. Putak ina. Alam mo kasi, for three hours, you were so frustrated. Wala ka nahuli. Na-excite ako masyado dun sa sudden pull. And I forgot one of the key basics of jigging. When you get a bite, you have to hook set it like really strong. Like you have to pump it like two or three times. Sa parang gigil na gigil ka para ma hook set yon. Ako na kalimutan ko. I was so I was just so panicked and shocked dun sa sa bigat na na feel ko. Ang utak blogger ko ang nagano nag take over na. Damn, I gotta get this on camera ganon. Fuck! You fucked up. Anira talaga na fishing pag vlogging. Ay ayaw ko magblog. For the next couple of hours, kasi halos uh, more than 12 hours kami dun eh, sa laot. Wala akong nahuli ever since. And all those remaining hours namin hanggang umaga, ang iniisip ko lagi, yung naramdaman kong bigat. Like, hindi na nawala sa isip ko yun. Like, that was the one that got away, man. But fuck, dude. It could have been anything. Fuck! And then, uh, I was just sleeping then for like 2 to 3 hours then in between. Kasi na nakaka nakakaantok talaga sa ano, bangka. So, dumating yung umaga, so, sobrang sama ng loob ko. I said, fuck it, I, I don't wanna go home na wala akong dalang kahit ano. So, sabi ko, you know what? Maybe I should go on the other town, dun sa pinunta natin sa Zambales. Kasi may nakita ko mga nag-fishing dun, di ba? 
And then I drove for like 20 minutes there. And then weirdly, ang daming kotse. So pagdating ko doon sa town proper mismo, God damn, it looked like freaking spring break sa US. Sobrang daming tao. The traffic there was worse than EDSA, dude, on a rush hour. I pa a parking. I ate like uh, at a Mexican place. And then I walked for like 30 minutes. In the scorching sun, papunta doon sa beach kung saan tayo naglayag. Sobrang puno yung town, lalo na sa beach. Mga naka-tent, mga naka-ano yung naka-blast yung mga karaoke at mga speakers nila. May mga sarili silang mga ano, tarpaulin and all that shit. Sabi ko, fuck, how am I gonna fish here? But anyways, you know what? Nandito lalo rin naman ako, I'll go fishing. Let's do sa fishing area, putang ina. Ang dami rin mga tao. And then I had to like climb very, very treacherous rocks. So sabi ko, fuck it, hindi ako makaka-traverse dito na hindi ako nababasa. Wala akong pan pa pamalit, but you know what, fuck it, sayo nang punta ko dito. So lumusong na ako. I got wet. I almost died because the rocks were so slippery. And then pagdating ko doon sa may, ano, sa may fishing area, kung saan ako mag magkakast. Ang daming mga nag-snorkel. Sabi ko, putang inang yan, paano ako makaka-fishing nito? Bulabog yung mga isda. So I had to like climb uh, a few more rocks. Papunta doon sa may, may mas maraming clearing. Pagpunta ko na doon, sabi ko, finally, peace and quiet, kinda. Then putang in, after like five minutes, may dumaan ako na bangka. Doon mismo sa kung saan ako nakakast. And then after that, there was like a kayak. And then like every fucking five minutes, may dumadaan akong ano-ano. Sabi ko, putang ina, bulabog na mga isda. Wala na to. So I spent like two more hours there. Nagtsatsaga-tsaga lang. Sabi ko, fuck it. I'm gonna give up. So I went back the same way. The same hardships, and then I got to my car, and then I had to, to contemplate life for like 30 minutes. As in, nakahubad lang ako. I was just sitting on my car. Like, what the fuck did I just do for the past two days, man? I was full of L's. I needed a W. So I said, you know what? I'll stay at a hotel somewhere. And then turns out, lahat ng mga hotel na pinuntahan ko around Zambales was fucking full. Wala nang vacancy. And I was so sleepy because I was so tired. But I, you know what? Fuck it. I said, punta na ako sa Clark. On the way to Clark, I was just so sleepy, man. Ano yung parang malapit na magwagayway yung car ko, which is, guys, please don't do that. Find a place sa uh, kusa. <laughs> Sari ka pwede yung ano, magpahinga. Pero ang tanga na, every, siguro mga every 30 minutes, nagpapahinga ako, nag, nag-stop ako somewhere. Until I reached Clark, I found this really nice drive-in hotel. It looked kind of sketchy though, but it, it was, it looked, Kind of nice. Tapos pagtingin ko doon sa room rates nila. Wow! 600 pesos for like 6 hours. Sabi ko, that's more than I need. Para lang magpahinga, di ba? And then take a bath. Kasi tatlong araw na walang ligo. And then may nakita ko doon sa isang nilang ano, isang kwarto nila. It said jacuzzi room. For 900 pesos. For 6 hours. Tapos tinanong ko yung clerk, may hot water po ba yung jacuzzi niyo? Sabi nila, meron. Sabi ko, you know what? I'll take it! So, in I go. Pagtingin ko, pagpunta ko dun sa jacuzzi. Wow, okay, that, look, that looks pretty nice. That's enough for one person. Puta, pag on ko ng tubig, sobrang hina ng tubig. Puta, ina. Puta, ina, para mapuno yung tub, it took me like an hour to fill the tub with hot water bago ako nakaligo. Then, ayun, puta, ina, na, natulog ako dun sa tub for like an hour. And then, nagising ako kasi putang pinapawisan na ako dun sa init. And I slept. And then, sobrang himbing ng tulog ko to the point na gumising sa akin is yung telephone clerk. Kinawagan ako, Sir, mag-extend pa po ba kayo? Wait, it was, it's been six hours already? What the fuck? Sobrang antok ko pa rin. Sabi ko, you know what? Another six hours. Tapos natulog ulit ako. Tas sobrang himbing na naman ng tulog ko. To the point na sobrang sarap ng panaginip ko. Very, very surreal. And then, nagising na naman ako ng telephone call. Sir, extend pa na naman po ba kayo? Sabi ko, what the fuck? Patang bilis na oras dito! But then, I, I saw the my fucking clock. It's it's already like 4 a.m. Kasi yun na, nagpumunta na ako sa... Nag, naglarga na ako. Stopped by at an Army Navy. They gave me like chuck tons of bacon because walang katao-tao doon. And then, eto na tayo. And then, dito na ako. Nag-Valorant na ako. Ngayon, with you guys. That's it. That's the story of my past three days, man. Ito eh. Anyari doon sa One Piece ko, ha? Oh yeah, diba, and then the, oh yeah, and the, the funny thing is like, diba si, si Ken the day before uh, the day before my trip, sabi ko, oh mm -hmm. Ken download me like episodes of One Piece na walang fillers, kasi sa inisip ko like you know what I'll be bored at the boat kung wala ako mahuli and all that shit. Pero the reality is, out of my frustration of fishing, hindi ko na hindi ko na napanood like what not, the fuck? not a single yeah, episode hindi ko na panood. Yeah, I understand man. I was um, too fucking man, I was man. too preoccupied with fishing and then sleeping that I didn't have time to watch One Piece. Kahit pagdating ko doon sa ano, sa hotel, I was just super tired, man. 
Na sobrang bitter yeah, ko sa dagat. Sabi ko, ayoko makakita ng mga pirata, puta. <laughs> Fuck that shit! So like, yeah, yeah, man, so, man. Fuck yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, dude. I'm really sorry, <laughs> but that's just how it is, man. Like, fuck. Oh.